to Tesla Life Europe with news, tips, and great destinations to visit with your Tesla. This is episode 19. This video is a sequel to my last video about Tesla Autopilot FSD coming to Europe and elsewhere in the UNECE region. If you would like to view that video, please see the link in the description below. What is the critical difference between US and EU legislation that leads to so much faster introduction of innovations? And what can we do to accelerate the introduction of innovations like Autopilot FSD in Europe and in the countries that ratify the UNECE framework? A major barrier to the introduction of Autopilot FSD in Europe is the UNECE legal framework. It is not ready to allow autonomous driving and updates to the framework typically take very long. In the US legal framework, both the primary initiative and the responsibility for the safety of the innovation rest with the developer. And authorities keep a close watch. The idea behind this approach is that the best, in-depth knowledge about the innovation resides with the manufacturer, not with the regulator. In the EU, however, regulators are in the lead. And that is not necessarily the best approach, especially with innovations that are groundbreaking and fast developing. Regulators have limited knowledge of the risks and benefits of such innovations. Today, a different approach to regulate innovations such as autonomous driving is needed. Technologies like deep learning neural networks are capable of learning from real world situations. Neural networks can take circumstantial information into account. Such technology is best regulated with an outcome focused approach, not with a regulator centric approach. A major drawback of the EU regulator-focused approach is the fact that the regulator is the single responsible entity. Whenever a new regulation is introduced, allowing new technology on the roads, and something goes wrong, the regulator will clearly be seen as the one who is accountable. That, of course, impedes the approval of new technologies. Rather than leaving all responsibility to the legislator, a significant share of the responsibility should be transferred to the manufacturer, to users and to user organizations. An advantage of such an approach will be that legislators will no longer be the only individuals who bear all the responsibilities. In the EU, you can find the concept of an outcome-focused approach in other areas such as healthcare. Both physicians and patient organizations are given a central role in decision-making about reimbursement for innovative treatments for rare diseases. Real-world expertise is brought into play and regulators apply shared decision-making along with experts and users. There is a great need for early access to innovation in autonomous driving because of the substantial safety benefit, saving human lives. Certainly, with the rapid pace of innovation in this area, the concept of regulators as the only party to approve such innovations is no longer effective. In fact, it hinders life-saving innovation, and that should not be acceptable. You can help to bring this idea to the attention of the Ministry of Transportation in your country. Send an email and ask for an outcome-focused approach when approving autonomous driving. Improved traffic safety is at stake. Your support is much appreciated. Meanwhile, while rolling out FSD in the US, Tesla is testing the software in other regions in shadow mode. Shadow mode allows the collection of valuable video data that can be used to train and test the neural nets decision-making in cars without linking those decisions to real actions. Tesla is prepared to come to Europe. Let's hope we can use FSD soon. That's it for now. Meanwhile, stay safe and stay tuned. And please click subscribe to be notified of new videos.